Some people are rich like you wouldn't believe. Uh, Mr. Landlord. Yeah? <laughs> You smoking an army blanket? Never mind about that. You owe me room rent. All right, here's $28. $28, fine. Just a minute. You owe me 13 weeks at $7 a week, and that happens to be a lot more than $28. Well, that comes to $28. Did you go to school? Yes, sir. Do you mean to say that you can prove that 7 times 13 is 28? Well, it's got to be. Certainly it is, because Mr. Rabbit and I, that, that, that's $28. That's what you get. If you can prove it, I'll tell you what I'll do. I will give you the room rent for nothing. You will? But. If you don't prove it, you owe me double the back rent. Is it a deal? That's a deal. Okay. Do you happen to have any Crayola on there? Crayola? Never mind. I got it. Oh, you have? I got the Crayola. The 7 and the 28 is going to come out 13. That's your way. That's my way. And it's got to come out right. Now, first, I put down the 7. Right. Now, I'm going to divide the 7 and the 28. Yeah. I put a 28 there. Okay. Isn't that cute? <clears throat> now, here we go. 7 into 2. 7 will not go into 2. It will not. That's a very big seven to push into that little bit of two. I should say it is. We ain't gonna hurt that little two, are we? Of course you will. So we take the two, open your hand. Yes. And I put that two right there for safekeeping. But don't drop it and don't lose it. Now, seven to eight. Once. Once, I put the one over here, one over there. Now, we're gonna carry the seven because it's very big and it's getting heavy on my shoulders and I'm gonna drop the seven under there. Now, seven from eight. Is one. Is one. I put the one down there. Mm-hmm. Now it comes. Would you mind opening up your palm of your hand, please? I would like to use that two. Open it up. Give me that two. You've had it long enough. <laughs> I'm gonna put that two right there. Now, seven into 21? Three times. That's right. Seven into 28? 13. Oh. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You have to prove this even better than that. You can prove it very easily by multiplication. You mean you want me to multiply it? No, no, not multiply, multiply. <laughs> Multiply. All right, all right, all right. Multiply it. Seven times thirteen. It's Prove 28. it. Go seven ahead. Times, now first we got to put down a thirteen, right? Right. There's a thirteen. Times seven. Times seven. Right. Seven weeks times thirteen, right? Seven times three. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Seven times one. Seven. Seven. Seven and one. Eight. And two to carry. Twenty-eight. <laughs> Now, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm still not convinced. There's one sure way of proving this. One sure way, and that's by addition. You want me to addition it up? I want you to put 13 seven times on that wall and then draw a line and add them up. You want me to put down 13 seven times? That's right. <laughs> it's got to come out right. <laughs> There's one. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. Six. Six. Seven. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What's the idea of spreading them out like that? Well, it looks like a, a flock of seagulls gonna hit the electric poles. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna add them up, right? All right, go ahead. Here we go. Three, six, wait nine. Minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me do the adding this time. Good. <laughs> Come out right. <laughs> wait a three, a six, a nine. Just a minute. I will do the adding. Then there'll be no mistake. Yeah? All right. <laughs> Twenty-eight dollars each. <laughs> All right, sure. Now, go ahead. If you had it, go ahead. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one. Twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. <laughs> I've got to get you a job. Yeah? I've got to use the telephone. Uh, uh, loan me 50 cents. Louis. Have it. I would like to loan you 50 cents, but I can't do it. All I got is 40 cents. 40 cents? Yeah. Well, all right. Give me the 40 cents, and you owe me 10 cents. Right. All right? Wait a minute. What's the matter? How come I owe you 10 cents? What I asked you for. 50 cents. And what'd you give me? 40 cents. So you owe me 10 cents. How can I owe you 10 cents? Now, I, wait a minute. Now, listen. I, I gave you all that money I had in my pocket. I gave you Are 40 cents. Are you with me again? No, I got to owe you 10 cents besides. I asked you for 50 cents. Well, all I had was 40 cents. And so I you owe me 10 cents. How can I owe you 10 cents? Oh, take it easy. Take it easy. 40 cents and 10 cents is how much? Hey, that's, um, everybody knows that. Uh, it's um, 50 cents. Oh, no, no. 25 and 25 is 50 cents. Uh, Give me that. All right. Here's your 40 cents. Give me back the dime you owe me. Okay, now we're even. Now uh, we're even. Okay. So it's my own fault for asking you but for a loan of uh, 50 cents. You tricked me too much into this. I shouldn't ask you for uh, 50 cents. How you... can I loan you 50 cents? Well, all I got left now is 30 cents. Well, loan me the 30 cents and you owe me 20. Okay. Now, no, no arguments. Now, everything's all right. You owe me 20 cents. Mm. Now, make it, uh, it's clear to you, am I right? How can I owe you 20 cents now? First time I owe you 10 cents, now I owe you 20 cents. I give you all the money I've got in the world. All right. I, I can't owe you that kind of money. Wait a Here's your 30 cents. Give me the 20 cents you owe me. Okay. There we are. Now, now we're all set. 
We're all set. We're all set. Now, what are you hollering about? I'm not... Uh, I, I don't understand this. You don't understand? It's what? kind of transaction. What do you mean? What's, uh, don't you start to ask for 50 cents, and I give you 40 cents, I give you 30 cents. My friend, it's the last time I'll ever ask you for the loan of 50 cents. Ah, uh, but you got me on me. How can I loan you 50 cents? All I got left now is 10 cents. Is that all you got left? That's all I got left. Well, loan me the dime. No, I ain't got nothing. Now, wait a minute. Now, don't get excited. I don't understand these transactions. You're ruining you. my calculation. You're ruining my finances. Uh, wait a minute. I'll tell you what I'll do with you. What did you have? I have 40 cents when I started. Just a minute. You want to take an IOU for the 40 cents? Is it good? Well, certainly it's good. Well, that's business. I mean, after all, you go to a bank, you've got to do that. I do everything strictly business. Well, that's all right. I'll take IOU. You got, a, you got a pencil? Yeah, pencil. Give me a pencil. I'll put the IOU on my piggy bank. That's right. Now, here. I owe you 40 cents. There you are. Now, sign your name. Okay. Lose There you are. Now, you see, everything is legal. Hey, wait a minute now. No remarks, boys. Please remember, it's all for charity. How much you want to bet, madam? Ten dollars. Ten dollars, now. That's a good bet coming from a woman. What is that, swim pool on, on the bazaar grounds or wait something? Wait a minute. Quiet. Yeah, all right, never mind that. Yeah. You want to bet ten dollars? Now, let's see. I have a ten dollar bill here a minute ago. I... Have you got two tens for a five? Yes, sir. Thank you. Now, there's your ten, madam. Now, here's the idea of the game. I place a limit underneath the shell like this. It's a very simple game. Keep an eye on the limit. Well, if you don't keep your eye on the limit, that's sure. Now, we just toss it around the table. It goes around three or four times. Just a minute. Oh, whoa, 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 wait a minute! I don't mind moving here, but what kind of fast one do you just give me? Not just a minute. You just say you got two tens for five, and I don't like give it to you. Two uh, tens. Still two tens for five. Still beefy, huh? Still beefy. I'm your pal. What are you trying to see me for? It's my own fault for doing this. Fifteen dollars went south. That's all right, all right. Going. Forget about it. Here's your five. Give me back my two tens. That's better. Now get out. Of here. Don't try to cheat me, buddy. I'm running down the middle. Because I'm as smart as you are any day. Every time I think I. I want everyone to make what you all know is charity. You place it underneath the shell. Now, if you watch that shell, it's still lazy. It's too fancy. Give me a five. Quick. <laughs> you did it to me. You did it to me, too. What are you doing? I, I, whatever I'm doing, I'm doing wrong. That two pence for five business. I'll get you even. Don't let, uh, pardon me just a minute. Hey, excuse me. Uh, just put half of your basil. Take a number, any number at all, from one to ten. Four. No, it was number five. But you were close. You see, you're getting hot, kid. You're getting hot. Stick with it. You're bound to win something. Now, madam, as I said before, you want some money? Yeah. On the side? I don't mind. Well, we'll put the whole works right there. Okay. Now, go ahead. You take a number, any number at all, from one to ten. Any number? Yeah. Number eight. Let me get in on some of this easy gravy. There. How much you got there? Thirty-five. You take a number from one to ten. Number six. Now, number seven. Add number seven. Uh, will you go away from here, please? I believe that in the conquest of bread lies the answer.